<laughs> so what are you guys doing over here by the dam anyway? I was chasing a guy down. Actually, this would be a good place to put a spawn beacon. Actually, kind of would be here. I'm that way, like, they won't expect you to be attacked. I have positive so, ID on a hostile sniper south of the new location. Okay, one hit. Two hits. Yes, now I got the ECOG scope for my LMG6. Six. Six hits. We've taken objective echo! Spawn on you. Seven hits. Okay, that's seven rockets, and it still hasn't gone yet. Thank you. There you go. Okay, let's see how many rockets it takes. Tyrex is heading on its way up, just so you know. Chocolate chip camo is the best camo because I remember when uh, okay, my friends were miles. all playing uh, Metal Gear Solid. Okay, that's together. nine rockets. And we picked up the. Uh, T-Rex, what are you well, doing? My friend who was playing he grabbed the chocolate the chip dam. camo. And it's like, you're like, what the hell? Why is there chocolate chip camo? That doesn't make sense. Do they really call it chocolate chip? And what's on the internet? So, yeah, actually, they actually do call it chocolate chip camo. Nice. Uh, okay, MGS2 nine, is pretty I good hit game. it with nine rockets so far. Here's ten. Okay, that's 10. Well, Objective Delta has now been taken. 13. Heads up, enemy sniper, stop where you are. 14. 15. Oh my god. No, don't die, Alex. 16. Oh my gosh. Okay. Science. Oh, behind you. Behind your hair. Okay. I got him, don't worry. Okay, 18 rockets so far. I revenged you. Thanks. Look out, someone's, someone's coming, coming again. Or that someone's dead, but they got like a truck thing. 19 rockets. Any rockets? Shooting the down. Okay, I think this is it. 20 rockets. It there we go. Oh, oh shit. Oh, down. fuck. God damn it, Hanger. And you killed Hanger. <laughs> you killed all of I, us. Well, I, didn't know the, I, didn't, I didn't know the kill, what the kill area was. So I've never been down there when I shot the damn. <laughs> Where can I get a kick request? No, I, I'm gonna be like, hole. Alright, Agar, I, I, I think I might have made like a diamond like, leader. If you are, I'm gonna like D leader you for that. Okay, yeah, how do, how do you I'm do serious? How, how do we do it? You want me to just leave and rejoin? No, I mean like, you're like in the dunk soon. You're like a set as leader. And I'm gonna okay. undo that. I, I have no idea I was the leader in the dunk before. So I had to do it because I had no idea even more. It basically means you're allowed to invite people and you're also allowed to, uh, I don't think you can kick. Or you can also like uh, verify that people have been invited. Let me 
neutralized. Objective Charlie. I'll take this ammo. I'm sorry. I appreciate that. Thanks, I man. I just threw ammo right in front of your face. So I'll move it. Okay, you guys want to just hold in these going deep. Yeah. Ooh, sniper. It's really nice, like, when you're using not the scouts, and, like, if you shoot a guy in the head, he actually dies. Which, often, is not the case with the scout. That guy's seen it. Using the Seattle whole bunch, I can say that it definitely is better than the FYJS at least. Uh, does anyone want to take A back, or should we leave that for the other squads? Well, that means that they're like capable of reason. working. Okay, no, strange left is almost an A, so I'm going to go with that. I am at A, and I'm here with Seth. All right, well, but there's a lot of bad men, so uh, resistance would be appreciated. I'll work my way over there, and if I die, I'll spawn on you. Spot an enemy vehicle. I'll, I'll try and get a like spawn beacon down, but it's really not safe here. If I put a beacon down, I'll probably be killed very quickly. So. Just but if I don't place the shadows, so. but your current position. Objective Delta has just been neutralized. Still lean if I have a like long if I have a medium scope. Shit. Yeah, there's a guy in the second floor. But yeah, you got him. Okay, thanks. We have lost control of objective Charlie. One on my body. Okay, we lost Charlie. Could a mechanic take a look at my ride, please? I love when spotting doesn't work. Yeah, that drives me cool. Enemies all over it. There's Jork. What enemies all over it? Uh, third, or top floor. I killed okay. one of them, but there's still some more I'm seeing. Okay, we'll keep spawning. There's this one guy in the uh, northwest corner who's like, we can't, I can't find him. Spotted hostile machine gun. Oh, yeah, I think he's dead now. I saw a bunch. I saw a body. So. Okay, I got one. I'm not seeing anyone on the top level. Yeah, I think it's okay for now. We should probably move back to C1. Okay, let's go to B first. Don't let me mark B for some company. Okay, let's just go see. Hey, just fly on the explosion. Uh, Commander probably dropped the person saw or something. Seriously, why did that grenade 
and that killed it. Yo, I'm gonna go I got back to Alpha no. now. I just boated the guys moving back who are trying to move back to Alpha. I think there's still one left, but he won't be caught. Okay, there's some people shooting from the buildings. The buildings? The, the, the roofs of the buildings uh, on the B side. So you gotta watch out. You, you, you're calling them buildings. Buildings. Like Mr. Belding? Buildings. Oh, Mr. Bolton there is. Straight down. This is kill 100. Cry engine. I know. Alright, thanks, man! And don't get me wrong, I do Let like the engine, but. You can't make, like. I, I just love all the, the fans who think they know everything. I, I would kind of like to see it because Crytek hasn't tried to make a battlefield ass. Like Crisis. Crisis Wars. It is Crisis Wars. On. Yeah. Crisis. I actually like Crisis. A lot of people, uh, like, I think they got mad at it because the graphics were so good. So everyone was like, "Oh shit, the graphics are so amazing," and they got just they just got pissed because their computer. Didn't I can patch you well. up. Yeah, Crisis. Three. Crisis One was great. It was the other ones that. That's the problem. No, I I like them all. I'd say even two at this point, being as it was from Crisis One, was still like a competent Halo type shooter. I mean, even if it wasn't as big an open and sandboxy. Crisis yeah. Two was, in my opinion, a very good first-person shooter. It was not Crisis, but it was still very good. I, I, I yeah, I never, really I good, never but played Crisis Two. Like, uh, I bought it on Origin with a whole bunch of other games for a dollar. And like I kept like meaning to install and play it, but it's like I just don't have time. Crisis 2 is one of the only modern first-person shooters that I have actually played through more than once, and not because it's so amazing, like you know storyline-wise. It's just it's fun and it works. Yeah. I mean, like you really like you can only be so bad when you got like because like the thing that I really liked with the. Uh, the original crisis was just being able to like run around and jump in everywhere, and like even in like a more urban environment, like that actually might be more fun than an environment I'd say. If if the original crisis had not been released and just Crisis Two came out, people would lose their crap over it. Yeah, yeah, they that's would. True. Yeah, and most of the backlash from the original Crisis was just, I can't run this game, it must suck. Very true. I remember um, my second year of teaching, um, I went out and I bought a computer and uh, at a store, and one of their big claims was, you see what it's running? It's running Crisis, and it has almost everything on high. And I went, I'm sold. Crisis 1 was like the two computers that have it on, and they're like, this is a... SLI is a new car, which is like a big thing back then. Analyze on an enemy in the eastern. Yeah. And the people who are in the middle of 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 the middle Crisis 1 or Crisis 2. Uh, we take an well, I just not on sale and Well, Crisis 1, if you found it too easy, just crank up the, the difficulty and play it Predator style. I like, the thing is though, like, uh, uh, I actually literally just saw a video card playing Crisis 1. It's because I thought it was 
I thought I was going to need to play the game in two sittings during summertime, and my room didn't have air conditioning. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. And then this was right after <laughs> I did Bioshock in three sittings. You know, I'm really glad puppies are too stupid to realize I'm a medic for having my kit and revive teammates. And that literally destroyed my video card. Wow. I had to uh, throw my video. I threw my video card to the, like I literally threw it at the bottom of a river after that. That's literally a thing I did. You live in the rivers. Wow. Why would you do that? Fish? What did they do to you? Yeah, it's I was actually trying to hit a turtle with it, and I missed it. So it wasn't enough to turtle to the moon. Oh yeah. <laughs> It see, but that's also different because when the original Crisis came out, that's when it was like a twenty-hour game was like a regular length game. So if you gave it like four that's hours, not true. like I'm, mean, a lot of people like act like it is, but most games even then were still like. Only a little longer than 10 hours though. I need you to well, attack you this objective! You gotta remember the same year Crisis came out. It came out for Co Call of Duty 4 and that was... COD came out. Oh, well, not a short end. Bioshock one. came out. And they were... Those were both shorter than Crisis, but not that much. COD for Bioshock. And then also, uh... Orange Box also came out that year. It was actually a really good thing. Hey! My vehicle is damaged! Yes. I need a mechanic! Amazing. So I think like another reason I have eyes on a hot of, like, machine that stuff to that other crap like that, like God 4. We no longer control objective Bravo! I do really like the Krite engine though. So I like the engine and part of the reason I bought the Krite is Because uh MechWare Online disappointed me so Hey, where the heck are they? I, uh, you know, I keep forgetting to switch my C4 for the whiz balls. Yeah, I would say if you are, if you are not very happy with your crisis experience, try turning the difficulty up. I'm mean, the mod that gave you like the uh, highlights and the grenade uh, highlights, but let you play in uh, Delta AI. I don't like anyone can make it hard. That was the thing. No, the trick is to make it hard and fun. The M16 was so good in uh, BC2 because the uh, all the weapons had a uh, when you were aimed down the sights they all had zero radiation. So even while moving, you were 
are like perfectly accurate. Ooh, I got the MG full Yeah, it's good on lock. Sorry, they're strange love. Mm. Whenever I tried to revive and got shot again, sorry, I didn't see. I thought the dude had moved on. So I checked around the corner, didn't see him right away. Oh hey, I got uh, my NRV. I was hiding. Oh shit, I got the straight pull bolt for the L96. Woohoo! I can't use the folding grip. Can we get a new order? Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, I, was I need you to go. defend this objective. Thank you. Heads up! Enemy machine gunner! South for location! Apparently I can't walk forward anymore. Yeah, it's much more fun than uh, try hitting the dub, just having them S key. And if you like the uh, saw, try or the the MG4, try the M249. I kind of want to play some Metro now. That I have right now. I don't know. Down that stairwell. Stairwell is empty. Okay, we got B and C now. What do we want to do? Okay, you want to pick A again? I need you to attack this objective. Objective Delta is now under our control. He got me onto like a very low health and hit him with a flashbang, but I still managed to get him with like a handgun. Nice. Like, uh, well, I don't want to say like a bitch because he might take that as a cow, but you know. We can draw objective alpha. And again, he's probably more into nail dogs. I'm taking Delta. 
Order down to our cover. Spotted a hostile sniper to east of your position. Yo, I kind of like feel bad for Sean Vaughn. I mean, he dies in every movie. Except Troy, and that movie wasn't very good. Like, every like good thing he's in, he dies in. Uh, maybe it's like, like a clause in his contract. Like, he but wants to die in like if it's good. Like, my brother is convinced that the part of one of the only is that Sean Vaughn died in. Yeah, I told you just that song. Mm -hmm. He's like, he knows that like, one day, like, 50 years after he writes this shit, there'll be an actor named Sean Bean, and it's his thing will be he dies and everything. Bean Sean. And he will be cut, and he will be cast as, off oh, Hulk and shit. Well, good round, everyone. Woo. Look at that, look at that, so close. Oh, I like, uh, people surprise that... He dies in Game of Thrones. Well, you know, people were surprised because he didn't die in like the first episode. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I mean, to be fair, when I read the bell, I was kind of surprised he was dead, but. Sean Bond. He should play, uh. He should play James Bond, and he should die at the end of the movie. No, because he was already in Golden Eye, so that kind of precludes him. Nah, but, uh, like, me and my brother were talking that, uh... Mm, yeah, I don't know, who's, who should be the next James Bond? Sean Bond? No, because he was already in a James Bond movie, but as the bad guy. Sounds perfect to me. But no, seriously, next James Bond should be Idris Elba. Oh hey, Dawnbreaker. Like, I'd be down for that just because of how many, like, it basically just revealed, like, every racist ever. Yeah, it tends to happen. Not every race, but it tends to do a lot of that. <laughs> like, it just so good for, like, spying the racists. Like, like Hunger Games. Oh hey, this character who's black in the book is black in the movie. But no one noticed it, so they're mad. Or, you know, Black Johnny Storm from the cast before. Basically. Yes, with his white sister. Yeah, why not? Right. I, I mean, that exists that. in real life, actually. I mean, they could have it so that, like, no one even ever comments on it. Because, you know, he's, he's like, cool. No one cares. It's almost as if black and white are completely arbitrary. I know all those white parents having black kids. It happens. Yeah. It does. The only thing I can think of that does make me laugh about all that shit is uh, back when the Olympics were in England, there was an American reporter interviewing a British black guy. And she and called she him an act freaking him. American? Yeah, she kept calling him an African American and he kept interrupting her. I'm not American. Yeah, that'd be... Oh, man, that'd be nice. The only thing worse would be calling him say so much in Africa, African American. Every time he corrected her, she had, like, this aneurysm look on her face. No, you're African American! God damn! Oh. Fatherhood calls, so I'll be back on in a bit. Sure. But I'll be idle, so it'll kick me, or I'll be moving around. That's cool. Thanks. Hey, guys, guess where I got a beacon up? Oh, oh, sounds good. Can't wait to load in.